So I'm on my way to go meet with Danny. It's only me today. Dave and Cody both have the day off. Today's Saturday. My wife's at work. I've got her vehicle and it's getting close to the end of the month, which means that Danny's rent is almost due. I want to talk with Danny, find out how he's doing on his money. Has he been saving money? Is he going to be able to pay this rent? Am I going to have to help him pay this rent? Something that I don't mind doing. However, I want to see this guy become self-sufficient. You know, this is our success story here on After Prison Show. It's not just mine, Dave's, and Cody's. This is all of ours. A lot of you helped with the GoFundMe, making the donations to that. So with that, there's a lot of people who are rooting for Danny. You know, I may not get a chance to see this guy every single day, but trust and believe, don't you? Hey, boy, you better pay attention to your meals. Boy, the anxiety is at an all-time 12 right now. I might not get a chance to see Danny every single day, but trust me, I definitely talk with him on the phone every single day. It's almost like uh, I'm his sponsor. I'm his, his mentor. I'm a positive person in his life. And it's reciprocal. It's both ways, vice versa. You know, Danny is somebody that humbles me. Danny is somebody that, you know, I find a lot of inspiration in. Because if this man can go through what he went through, a life that not a lot of people can imagine being locked up for decades, if that man can survive that, I mean, we should be able to survive anything. Me, you, all of us. Well, it's good on the road right now. There's not a lot of traffic. That's good. I feel like um, a, a news reporter right now. Oh, my God, look at this. Look at this Mustang, boy. Well, the way people be driving around here just makes me nervous. But we're on the road. Just me, this GoPro, and all of you. Oh, boy, we got some traffic. We got some traffic, folks. This makes me super nervous. Oh my God, look at you. Look at you and your old dumbass Toyota. You are, let me get out your way. Oh God, I got cars cutting all in front of me. This is when things get, oh my God, you're cutting right behind me. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out. Hey, did you just, did you just flick me off? Hold on, man. Hold on. Let's pull this thing over. I'm gonna get out your way. I'm gonna get out your way. Now, now show me how fast your little, your little dumbass 1986 Toyota goes. Come on now. Come on, I know you got that thing floored, don't you? You got it floored, don't you? Road rage. I need three hands on the steering wheel. Everybody's cutting in and out of traffic. I need a camera facing forward, because the stuff that I see is, this is horrible. What are all of y'all late for the airport? Is everybody late for their flight? Half of y'all probably never even flew on a plane before. There you go, flying by me and your, and your Honda Pilot. Such an ugly car. He's talking to himself. I'm not the only crazy. Oh, he might be on a phone call. You know what? That's something I didn't even think about. I could just act like I'm on a phone call. Yeah, Bob, Bob. Yeah, the, uh, the stocks are down right now, Bob. Hey, look, I'm trying. I'm late for my plane. I got to. Oh, my God. Everybody's doing it behind me. All right. We've arrived. Safe and sound. Let's go see Danny. Danny, first of all, thanks for coming and seeing me, man. Yeah, right. Thank you. Thank you for letting me come see you. Day off today, I guess. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. How you feeling? Uh, I'm sore, still sore, still recovering from the accident. Uh, yeah. Look at you, Mr. Popular. I know, huh? Massachusetts, it's my brother. I'm telling him I'll call him back later. Hello? Hey, Grandpa. Look at you, Danny, handling business. My granddaughter, man. yeah, it's my granddaughter. So, it's 11.30 right now on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. The bank closes at 12. That's where we're on our way to right now. Mm -hmm. You know, you've been doing what you're supposed to do. You've been putting money away. And you got to go get, uh, you got to go get the rent. The rent's going to be doing a couple of days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you want to be able to pay on time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I remember the last time that we, well, not the last time. Last time we met with you, we did a cooking video. And the first yeah. thing I want to tell you is everybody loved that. Mm -hmm. They ready to see some more cooking with us, Danny. I could have, I could have reduced some mayonnaise off of that though. <laughs> you know what? It was funny though. Yeah. It was, it I was just squirted that sucker in there. Yeah. I thought about it after it was funny. Yeah. But the time that we saw you before, you know, you were kind of stressed out about the rent. You know, this yeah. is, this is all new to you, this, mm -hmm. this responsibility, but you know, you're making it happen. And hopefully we get to the bank in time for you to get uh, the check that you need to get mm -hmm. so that you can pay the rent, but it's still, yeah. you know, it's not even the end of the month yet. We got yeah. a couple more days. So if we can't make it happen today, which I hope we do, uh, it will get taken care of. 
Yeah, well, I mean, I could wait till Monday, but, um, you know, like I said, my schedule is tight. I really don't have the extra time to go here and there, and if I do, it's very, very limited. Yeah. Yeah. Which way do I go? Do I go uh, straight? straight ahead, yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah, you asked me how I'm feeling. Um, I'm still real sore. Like I said, I, I, the truth was is that I dislocated my AC joint again. I dislocated my collarbone. Um, I, I injured, re-injured my T1 vertebrae in the back that goes right underneath your, your, your shoulder blade. And my C4 is, uh, again, re-injured. That's the neck rotation, the ball in your neck. And I, I crushed my chest We're taking straight ahead. Okay, right. yeah. I crushed my chest. <clears throat> That's what made it difficult breathing um, when I you got You know, a out. lot of people don't know, but you fall off that moped, and even if you're going really slow, you can hurt yeah. yourself. And you were going, you know, you were going a, not slow, but yeah. not fast neither. About 10, 15 miles an hour. You know what's crazy is lately on the news, if you listen, a lot of people have been killed on mopeds. It's like, uh, I'm not saying everybody, but it's like a lot of, when I ride this moped, a lot of people get angry, road rage, because they are seeking for speed. Well, I dealt with it on the way out here to come see you today. Yeah. I mean, I got cars trying to fly past me, and yeah. being in a vehicle, for me, is scary. Yeah. And I, I remember what it was like being on a moped. I can just imagine what it's like for you. It's yeah. a scary situation. You got cars flying by. You ain't got no respect at all. Yeah, I'm constantly looking at my 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 rear view uh, side windows, mirrors. I'm watching my back, watching who's getting close to me. At the same time, I'm focusing in the front. You have a lot of cars jumping in front of you. They don't respect. They don't respect moped as a vehicle. Um, it is a vehicle, and you got to register it. So it's a vehicle. Straight. Straight ahead, yeah. And so, um, you know, like I said, is is. Uh, I'm not going to let that scare me, but yeah, it concerns me anytime I get on that bike, in particular when it's raining, Yeah. you know, because the ground is wet and my back brakes, they work, but they don't work as fast as the front, but I can't use the front if the ground is wet or you there's know, gravel. You know, somebody had mentioned loosening those front brakes up a little bit. Maybe they're too tight. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't know. I, I'll tell you like this, the game plan is, and me and you have been talking about it a little bit, I know you've been talking about it more, mm -hmm. but getting your license back. Yeah. You know, that's definitely the next step. Well, and, I never had one, Joe. And see, that's, well, getting yeah. your license then. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that's going to be, that's going to entail some stuff. You know, you're going to have to study this book. You're mm -hmm. going to have to get a, you're going to have to get a restrict, not a restricted, but a, a learner's permit. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have to carry that, I think, for three months. And then you'll be able to drive with somebody. But I'll tell you like this, I mean, I... I got a message on Facebook or maybe an email a couple of days ago. Somebody wanted to donate a, a old truck to you. Oh, really? But I don't know where it's at. I haven't had a chance to message them back because I get a lot of uh, crazy emails that aren't legit. I think this one is, though. Uh, but they would want to know how to ship it or, you know, who would cover the shipping cost. And I don't know what kind of truck it is, what's wrong with it. But, Danny, there's people that really, really want to see you continue to do what you're doing and be able to do more and the license i think is the next big thing yeah well i can i can cover the license the license is not i mean it's not really i already know how to drive i just have to take the test i remember a lot of the road signs and a lot of that i do remember quite a bit but yeah i will i'm gonna tell you like this danny again, yeah things have changed and what's even worse about it is is now on the test you know, you have to take the test on this computer. Right. And what they do is they try to trick you. They put these trick questions in there mm -hmm. that'll confuse you. And you can't miss one road sign. There's, uh, I think, uh -huh. 10, 15, 20 road sign questions. You can't miss not one of those. And then I think you can miss up to five questions on the rest of the test. It, it, takes, some, it takes some practice, mm -hmm. you know. But if we can get you working toward that, Man, I think that would be a major accomplishment, yeah. especially considering it's getting ready to be winter time. It's gonna be too cold to ride that moped. Yeah, I can't ride that moped. Yeah, I gotta put that moped up eventually. Uh, I was telling somebody to put ski mobiles on that and put some spikes on my tires in the back. <laughs> I was thinking on. about it. Yeah, you know what I mean. They do it in up up in the north <laughs> on a moped. Yeah, I seen it on a moped. Yeah, <laughs> and they put they put the they put the tire. They got these special tires. They with grip the chains on them. with the chains on them. Yeah, and the skis in the front, and they're flying. Yeah. Well, you're a bad dude if you can ride a moped in the snow. Yeah. The only thing is, uh, they will probably pull me over because they never seen nothing like that here in Virginia. No, nah, they definitely gonna pull you over. Yeah. 
but yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm little by little as I go on, I'm, I'm figuring things out. I'm calculating and kind of like trying to fit everything in perspective of uh, how much time I got to do this, how much I got to do that. And, you know, I definitely got to get a, a car before the winter. I think you're right. I think the bank does close at at 12 or 1 o'clock, something like that. It might be one for this bank. Yeah. This bank might be, I can guarantee this bank is better than my bank. Yeah. I know mine closes at 12. I think it's either one or two. I'm not sure. I could have pulled it up. I could pull it up on a Google, and I should maybe. So you know how to Google things on your phone now? Uh-huh. Yeah. I got pretty good at that. I know, huh? I mean, I'm laughing, but I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing because... It got laughing up in here. <laughs> okay. You got to do it again. Yeah. It says open today. Oh, to 3 p.m. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, 9 o'clock. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can go in and get this uh, cashier check. And uh, <clears throat> that's what they took last time, right? You yeah. paid with cashier? Yeah. Okay. How does it feel to, uh, you know, to be able to handle this? You know, you had this... Uh, this stress at first, yeah, and now you've got it. You know, now you've got it handled. Yeah. Doesn't that feel like a major accomplishment? Well, yeah. As as I go along, um, as I go along, the stress I get relieved a little bit. It's not always um, relieved because you know anything can happen. Yeah. And I, it's not that I sit there and worry and twiddle my thumb, thumbs, but it's, I sit there and 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 always. I don't know, maybe I'm being caution, I guess. That's the right word I'm looking for. I'm, I'm always being caution and always aware right in here and always aware of what I must do and what, what can possibly happen. And I like to be three, two, two or three steps ahead of time, you know, from the situation so that when it does come, I know how to handle it and I'm ready to handle it, you know. With work, I'll be accumulating that money for the following month and buying the things that I need. I'm also going to save some money for a vehicle. I heard Offer Up, the app, they got good cars. And my buddy bought a nice... Um, uh, you got to be careful up there, though. They got a lot of scam stuff going on there. Oh, but really? Yeah. When you're ready to start looking for a vehicle, I'll definitely help you in that department, Okay, that'd too. be good. Yeah, that'd be good. But look, I'm going to um, I'm gonna wait here while you go take care of what's okay, going on Okay, and, and I'll be right back. I'm, I'm walking in there, probably think I'm recording the conversation. <laughs> That's cool. You know how people are. But I love you it just because... just tell them it's not recording. Just tell yeah. them like, filming a video or something. Yeah, no, but I love it because I like the expression on their face. All right, this is the money order. They gave me two money orders. Oh, they did money orders? Yeah. Because the cashier, I, they need information for the cashier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can I leave this in here? Yeah. Okay. While we go stores and stuff? Yeah. All right, so what do you want to go, Dean? Uh, okay, let's... Um, I guess the best one to go to is get the um, few groceries. I was just going to grab some meats and that's it. Cold cuts and bread and we're out of there. All right, where you want to go? Walmart? Uh, yeah, Walmart. Get that right over here somewhere? Uh, no, actually, we can go back up this way, the same way we came, and go right on Tidewater. Okay. It's right off of Tidewater. In fact, it's right up the street. Actually, it's right around the corner. So just cut through this parking lot again? Uh, yeah, cut through the parking lot. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's right around the corner. Ooh. What the I, fucking hell was that? That was the sidewalk, I think. I think the sidewalk had jumped us, bro. <laughs> Check that. That sounded not good. Yeah. My wife would be pissed. Yeah, I think what it is is the tire, when it leaves, it came straight down. That's what I think. Let me check. Yeah. It was on this side. Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it just probably caught the corner of the thing and it came down. It looks, it looks all right. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay. That was kind of scary. All right, let's try this one more time without yeah. crashing my wife's car. <laughs> so cool, you got your rent? Yeah. That's a big thing, I know that's a big. I got the $400 for my for my, um, for my my granddaughter, actually. I gotta call, I'll call him later. When I'm ready to send it, mm -hmm. I'll call him, give him the confirmation number. I'm telling you, this, this, this Western Union thing, getting on it, now, that's stressful, bro. That's more stressful than paying rent. It's crazy, huh? Yeah. Because you gotta call them and then you gotta wait for a period of time and then you gotta give them all this information. Then they gotta process it. And then the uh, customer service guy comes on and then finally ask you the same question you already put in about 20 times. And then finally the transaction is going now. You gotta wait for your number. Now you gotta go to the cashier, give her the money, get the confirmation number, and then you're off on your way. 
I'll tell you like this. Wow. It's easier when you can do it online, that's for sure. Yeah. But their fees are ridiculous. They yeah, got yeah. high fees. Actually, talking about that, let me make sure I got my card. I didn't leave my card behind because she was trying to take my four hundred dollars. <laughs> She's gorgeous. She's the one that get open my account. Yeah, I got it right here. She's the one to open my account. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, um, she's, yeah. yeah, she's a cutie, yeah. Well, yeah, Dan, it's good to see you today. Mm -hmm. It's good to to know that, you know, there's some stress off of your shoulders getting this rent squared yeah. away. And everybody's going to love getting this update. Because, you know, it's crazy to think about this. It was, like, what, two months ago we did yeah. the GoFundMe. Uh -huh. So, God, I hope I'm not in the turning lane. I don't think I am. Um, yeah, you are, right, but you're good. You know, we did the GoFundMe, we paid the rent for two months, and now here we are two months later, you're able to handle this on your own. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I, I know that's gotta be a, a satisfying feeling for you. So that's a good thing. What, what really, what, what concerned me and what made me worried was my injury, my accident, because that threw me off of work. I didn't work for almost five days, and still, yeah. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to recover. Losing my job, I'm not really too concerned about that. I don't think I would. I don't because I've demonstrated that I'm a loyal. I'm loyal to the business. I'm loyal to him when it comes to being there every day. Um, and so you know, but it concerns me because you know the type of work in this area you get hurt, and it's a possibility. Look at this. This was a hammer I missed by with a nail. I had a nail and I missed and I hit my finger. I mean, and that's very painful. Yeah. I could have broke a thumb. I could have, anything could have happened. So there's no guarantee. I try to stay safe. At Tidewater, you take a right. Okay. I, I try to say stay, I try to say stay safe, and that's first priority. Okay. No, next one up at the light, yeah. Turn here anyway. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can go out this way, yeah. And, um, you know, oh, there's a full line right here. Is it closed? No, it's open. You want to go in here? No, no. Um, I'm trying to think. They don't have movies and stuff. We can, no. yeah, we can go over here and get movies. They got deals over here, dollar deals too. All right, so we're gonna go to Walmart. Mm -hmm. Danny's got to get some groceries. He wants to get some movies. That's one thing that you've been doing. You know, if people wonder, like, what do you do when you're just by yourself? And it's movies. You watch a mm -hmm. ton of movies. Yeah, I love movies. I'm a movie buff. I'll sit there all day and watch movie, cook. That's what I'm planning to do today. I started cleaning a little bit. I gotta wash dishes when I get back. Um, I gotta wash clothes tomorrow. The laundry mat, I found out there's a laundry mat across the street. Oh, you know what I like for you to do? Come with me and see this printer. Yeah, the way you were talking about the printer. Yeah, I mean, he, 30, he said he'd he drop it for $30. Yeah, but the crazy thing is you get a brand new printer for 50 bucks. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean. I didn't know that. The printer that I got at the house, I think it's 80, but the one that I had before that was 50. Now, you can connect it to how it works. It connects to... Uh, Laptop or your phone, too? Uh, it's got to be Bluetooth. He told me it's got to be Bluetooth to, to download anything. I think it's got to be Wi-Fi, but I don't know. I don't know. I would have to ask Cody. Cody I'm not the one that's any good at that stuff. Right. Cody's the, the guy who knows that stuff. So I need to, I need to wait. Okay, well, we're just leaving. We're just leaving from Walmart, and today is taking a major turn for the crazy all right so i just got a phone call from my wife she's in like immense pain she's crying and damn it's always gonna be a day when i'm a world away yeah we, I, can, we can always rearrange this we can continue on tomorrow next day whenever possible whenever you're available yeah we just pick up from where we left off but danny i, I know enjoy what, being with you thank you yeah and i appreciate you you kicking it with me um on this Saturday, we yeah. were able to go to the bank. We were able to get the rent. Yes. That's a major thing that needed to get done. Yeah. Everybody wants the update about you. You know, they love you. They they want to continue to see you doing good. And I mean, you're doing everything that you need to do. Yeah. So. Well, I'm handling my responsibilities. Like I said, we got the rent out the way. I got the money for the rent. Oh, talking yeah, about that. I don't want to forget <laughs> that. I would have forgot. And uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> And um, not only that, uh, I got $400 for my granddaughter who came from North Carolina. She needs clothes. I mean, look at you. Not um, only are you able to hold your own down right now, you're yeah. able to help help your granddaughter yeah. as well. So that's a really awesome thing. I also have good people by me. Joe guides me, um, the rest of the team, Dave, Cody. Also, the viewers inspire me to uh, 
to continue on with this movement and that's forward um, and plus I got um, shopping done yeah. thanks to you you helped me out a lot I don't have to move the moped today because the wind is nasty the weather is cold and of course you can see the rain coming yeah and I'm just glad I was able to get out here and yeah. you know help you do some running around mm -hmm. and again spend some time with you I wish I was able to spend more time because yeah. we had plans to go back and you know do some other things as well but we'll definitely do those on a on another day yeah I'm concerned too about I hope your wife she's okay you know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is you know it's crazy literally I looked at my phone and she had texted me and said that she was having all this up uh, uh, stomach pain and then I call her and she's crying and so I'm gonna have to she don't, have, she don't have no problem with appendix, huh? I, no, I don't know if it's anything like that. I, don't, I honestly don't know what it is. So I'm going to be flying, trying to get back. I told her if it gets bad, you need to just go to the hospital. Yeah. And she's at work by herself right now. So, I mean, ain't nobody there who can help her. She needs to call somebody ahead of time to come in for her while you're going. That's what you do when you get over here. I don't know. Call somebody to replace you or well, lock down. Her, her friend is there, but she's at lunch right now. So. Oh, okay. So she should be back by the time um, by the time you get there. That way she can leave right away. Yeah. But Danny, as we wrap this up, mm -hmm. I want to wrap this up with one final thing. Yeah. And that is, let's talk a little bit about what your future plans are. We've talked about this before, but I want to talk about it again now because you know you're in a better place. Yeah. When we talked about it before, you know, these were things that you might have seemed a lot more far off. But, you know, talk to me a little bit about some things that, you know, you're really hoping to accomplish mm -hmm. in the near future. Well, as uh, I was talking to you earlier, and I mentioned it before, my goal right now is within the next few months, get me a car. Get your license. Yes, and get me a license and get me, buy, me, buy me a car. I like to get a pickup truck. A truck that way because you know I I can use it for making money. Yeah. I, I like muscle cars. I like fast cars. But right about now I don't need no trouble with the law. Plus it's not making me any money. So the best thing for me to do is get a pickup truck and look at it that way, financial wise, in the future. Yeah. I'm also my dream is also to settle down, find the right woman, settle down. Um, that is one of my dreams. I, I I want I want to receive that love, the love that I can give out. I want it back. And um, I've spoken with a few, but they're not. We just gotta take your time, you know? Yeah. You're still working on you and you, you know, I, I think about this because as we were riding around, going to the bank, going to Walmart, you know, we see people on the side of the road, homeless, holding up signs mm -hmm. and, are we going straight? Straight ahead, right. yeah. Holding up signs and I just think about like when we met you, though you weren't holding up a sign, you were homeless. Yeah. And look how far you've come in this short period of time. Not just because of what I've been able to do or or even what the fans have been able to do. It's, be, it's been because of what you've been doing. Mm -hmm. You've given yourself a chance out here. And, you know, if you've been able to accomplish just this much in this short amount of time, just think of what you'll be able to accomplish by the time next year rolls around. Oh, without question. I hope to be to be on my foot completely. You know, you just brought me something funny. I can just picture myself standing out there with a sign but shaped into a hot red. You know looking what I mean? Looking for love? Yeah, looking for love. <laughs> I'm homeless, looking for love. Huh? I don't want no food, don't want no money. Just give me some love. Because I give it back. <laughs> That's crazy. Huh? That was just funny. Oh, yeah. Something stupid, you know? I like to keep a, a sense of humor, man. You take your first right up here. Yeah, I gotta keep a sense of humor, and you know, I try to. I work hard on it, and um, I'm not used to laughing. When I look at myself, right? yes. When I look at myself laughing, I told Joe the other day, man, I look goofy. You know. You're not goofy. I mean, everybody. Yeah, I'm not used to seeing myself laugh. That's what it is. And uh, I've always been a serious person with a serious, you know, face. And it's not that I was trying to look hard. It's just that's just the way it was. Yeah. Well, you know what? That that part of your life is over now, and now it's time to. You don't enjoy life. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, something that slowly but surely you're going to be able to start doing. That's true. That's true.